So now we will face down on here. Now we will uh, proceed by machining the ridges uh, surface. Okay, here's the chuck, and as you can see, it just goes on snugly, there's no play, and uh, we will now have to face this surface here down, so that the slight gap uh, between the chuck and the register plate is gone. Okay, the register is now finished, the chuck fits on nicely, and um, what we'll do next is we'll take the new flange of the old flange and we'll mount the uh, chuck to the new flange and then assemble the whole unit. And we'll uh, I'll also deburr these holes here because uh, from turning they uh, of course got burrs on them and they might destroy the registration on there so um, I just want to be 100% sure and I'll deburr them. Okay well what does this flange consist of? Why not make a completely new flange? Well the problem is that this uh, internal thread or the thread on the spindle is a very special one and um, it has a Withworth pitch so it is 55 degree angle and is 14 G Withworth and um, but it has a metric outside diameter so it is 20 millimeter outside diameter and the depth in turn is um, imperial again so that is why that would have caused us severe problems 
to machine this thread and we decided to take the old flange and uh, copy the registration principle that the chuck relies on and um, just make a new flange which has a registration surface as well. So these two sit, this flange here sits on the surface of this flange. Just clean this a little bit. And it has the copy of that surface inside here. So this surface here and this surface, they touch each other and uh, the internal bore here and this outside diameter they are also registrating on each other and then they go into each other like this and um, there's a registration mark over here and they align that way and then they are just held in by these screws and now we're going to put this flange into the chuck So here's the chuck. Let's make sure it's nice and clean. Okay. And now we'll put these together so that these three, uh, no, sorry, these three holes align. Just like that. And then we'll put bolts into here. sitting in here and, they will, and then we'll align these two here and now the flange is ready to be mounted on the spindle okay the chuck screwed on nicely and looking at it uh, from a dial indicator uh, you can see it's running about half a tenth out so five hundredths of a millimeter which is more than enough for my purposes and considering this is a free jar chuck which will um, get less accurate anyway over time that is okay for my purposes okay in order to confirm that it also isn't uh, tilted or angled or anything um, I checked it with a long bar which is machined and therefore should be quite true. I'll we'll just tr turn this over. And you can see it's running about three thousands out. Three hundreds, I'm sorry, I'm always in the inch system. So three hundreds of a millimeter is running out and that's okay. Okay. I've mounted a chuck between uh, or separated it with the tail sock center and we'll see how the chuck goes. <coughs> Well, I think that speaks for itself, doesn't it? Turning goes very well now and uh, much easier than with the old chuck where you only had a very small surface to grip onto. And yes, I also have the um, outside jaws for this chuck and it works perfectly. So there you go, a successful completion of uh, the project. Thanks a lot for watching.